Here is a Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. And you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know the watch is still on. Maybe you can hear it or feel it vibrate at times, okay? And even if you connect your charger on there, you get no indication as charging or whatnot, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and restart it using both of the keys here, okay? So what I want you to do in this first step here is press both buttons, the power slash home button as well as the back button. We want to press and hold both buttons. Don't let go until, until you see the Samsung logo appear. Once it appears, let go. Let's do it together, okay? Now this one here is fixed, but we're going to pretend this one is totally black, okay? So hold on to the both buttons. Ready, set, go. Press and hold and keep on holding until we see a Samsung logo appear. Again, pretend my screen here is black. Just holding on both buttons here, waiting for that Samsung logo to appear. There it is. Go ahead and let go and just wait for it to boot back up and hopefully you have a working screen. If it goes back to black, then we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so your screen is still black, no problem. Now for the next step here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our phone where the watch should be connected to and we're gonna go into the Galaxy wearable app, okay? So let me go into mine here. Mine is in the Samsung folder right there. Let me tap on that. Galaxy wearable. Let's tap on that right there. Now what we're gonna do is change the watch face, okay? So let's tap on watch face. And now just pick something else, okay? So currently I have it on this one here. Let me just go ahead and pick another one. Go Just pick another free one, okay? I'll just pick, I'll pick this one here. Let me tap on that right there. And once you tap on that, wait and look at your watch and see if the screen turns on. If it's still black, no problem. We're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so your screen is still black, no problem. So the next step here we're gonna do is go ahead and grab your charger. We're gonna plug it in there. You're probably not gonna get any of this. Yours is probably still gonna be black, but we're gonna go ahead and put on the charger and then wait like 30 seconds, okay? After 30 seconds, while it's still plugged in, we're gonna do the same thing, okay? Press and hold both buttons here while it's charging. Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons and keep on holding until we see a Samsung logo appear, okay? Keep on holding. Don't worry about what's on my screen here. Pretend it's just totally black. I'm just holding on both buttons, waiting for that Samsung logo. There it is. Go ahead and let go and let it boot back up and hopefully the screen turns on, it doesn't go back to the black screen, but if it does go back to the black screen, no problem, we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Okay, so if you still have a black screen, no problem. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it off the charger. Pretend my screen here is still black. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to wipe the cache partition. How you do that, first what you wanna do is, again, press and hold both buttons. As soon as you see the Samsung logo, let go and then start spamming the power button and keep on spamming, okay? We'll do it together, ready? Pretend my screen here is black. Both buttons ready, set, go. Press and hold. Again, pretend my screen is black, yet I don't have any idea what's going on on my screen. I'm just holding both of these buttons, waiting for a Samsung logo. Now, okay, there it is, and now start spamming the power button right there, there you go. That's exactly what we want here, okay? Now, now on this screen here, let me put my phone in so it's really hard to see, but we, what we wanna do is go down to recovery, okay? So how you do that, you just tap the power button, okay? Tap the power button, tap, 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 tap. Now it's, the blue is highlighted in uh, the recovery. To select it, press and hold that power button, and then you can let go and give it a second here. Just wait. It's gonna be stuck on the Samsung logo for a little bit, so just be patient. And voila, we are in the Android recovery system now, okay? So from here, what we wanna do is we wanna go down to wipe, wipe cache partition, okay? Now listen up very carefully, don't touch no buttons yet, okay? So what you wanna do is go down to uh, wipe cache partition, okay? You wanna use the bottom, the back button, okay? Don't use that power button. So down here, 
we're just going to go down to it, it if, if you pass it just keep going and it's going to go back up to the top okay so we're going to go down to white cache partition right there now to select it we're going to press the power button okay so we're going to go ahead and tap that power button now this basically says in red this cannot be undone when you do it that's fine uh, uh waving a cache partition you're just basically uh deleting temporary files you really don't even need anyway so from here it's highlighted on no so we're going to go to yes so click on the bottom button here now it's yes is highlighted now i'm going to tap on that power button to wipe the cache partition wipe cache partition is complete now in the blue it highlights reboot system now and that's exactly what we want okay so tap that power button and let it reboot and hopefully you have a working screen once it boots back up and hopefully you now have a working screen if not no problem we're going to go to the next possible fix okay so your screen is still black no problem so the next step we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing okay so again what we want to do is press and hold both buttons keep holding once the samsung logo appears let go of both buttons but quickly start spamming the power button okay so we'll do it together again ready both buttons ready set go pretend my screen here is black just keep on holding till we see that samsung logo and then start spamming that power button okay wait samsung logo now let go and then start spamming there we go okay so we're back into the screen here now with this one here the only thing you're going to do is and remember uh the tapping the power button can move you down okay so we just want to go to the very top where it just says continue okay so we're going to select continued basically just restart it so now we're going to press and hold this power button and then go ahead and let go and let it boot back up so just be patient here and just wait for the boot back up and hopefully you have a working screen okay now the thing is if you guys tried all of these steps and you still have a black screen then what i would recommend is start from step one do all the steps again try it two times three times i would say at least try it up to seven times but on some of my older videos with the Samsung Galaxy watches, some people had to do the same sequence. Some of them commented like the 13th time it finally turned on. Anyway, if this worked for you, please give me a uh, thumbs up and comment what step you think worked for you. If it didn't work for you, just give me a thumbs down. I'm going to say we should have at least a 65% thumbs up if you tried every step at least seven times. Okay, good luck, guys.